The history of Project Transit Lines in Law The first railway line opened in 1845 by Great Watgershire Railways and it runs through Watgershire Town to Wilton Loop via Wilton Town and High Street. Four years later, in 1849 the line to Kelton and Leicestershire were opened as a part of the Kelton extension. Seven years later, in 1856, the Ritvi main line was opened and it was split into two station lines. They are Ritvi Village and Ritvi Saltside. Then in 1861, a brand new operator called Watka Longmoor and Plumpton Railway opened a new line to Longmoor. All the way through Plumpton, three years later, the Watka and Wilton Railways was extended to Plumpton, plus the opening Brutting Station in which Bretting is the fourth largest city in Watgaland, and it's also the reason why the Greater Watgershire Railways was changed to Watga and Wilton Railways. Well, because the lawsuit with Great Western Railway for using the GWR nickname. In other news, the Smigs line is opened a few days later. Two years later, in 1866, the WLPR extends to Bretting and Wilton Loop via Wilton Town and Meadow Hills. By 1872, the WLPR opens the line to Aberton to cut journey times to Wilton Town. One month later, the Sudbury line, including Upper Harkton, were opened by WWR and WLPR respectively. In 1881, the Watka Birch and Aberton Railways were created and opens the line between Watka Town, Birch, Aberton and Whitebridge. Then, in 1889, the WWR extension to Medown Bridge were opened, following the WBAR extension to Kelton. Two decades later, the Longmore Warwick and Bathwaite and Lowton Railways were created in 1909, and they began oparting services to Longmore, Warwick, Warwick Bathwaite and Lowton and Bathwaite Pier. Five years after the opening of the Warwick to Bathwaite main line, World War I struck, and it damaged a lot of rail lines and stations due to German Zeppelins bombarding Watgaland. One decade later, after the World War I, the WWR, WBAR, WLPR, and LWBL were later merged into Watgaland Railways, a state-owned operator that serves the country. Then, in 1925, Watga International was opened as a branch line of Watka Central, due to the fact that Watka Town was renamed to Watka Central in that same year. During World War II, the Watgaland Railways were suffered from German bombings and it nearly destroyed the rail line, including Watka and Wilton. After World War II, Watgaland Railway starts to operate again until 1960, when the beaching axes decided to close the Ritvi main line and in 1964 Ritvi Village was closed for good. Then in 1969, Watga International was closed in favour of Warwick International. Then in 1975, the Meadow Bridge line is closed due to financial problems dealing with the Watgaland Railways. Then in 1984, the Watga Heritage Railways was created to preserve the lines that Watgaland Railways used to operate the Ritvi Main Line and Meadow Bridge Mainline. One decade later, the Watgaland Railways were split into three operators. These are Pendulum Commuter for commuter services, Regiolink for regional services, and Watga Express for inner city services. Regiolink Group is the main operator for the four train operators. Then in 2022, the Penwith Line is closed, and a year later Northwich Station was closed due to low passengers. And we are here today. And that's it. Thanks for watching. In 2024, Watka Airport Express was finally up.